everyone, and to the saints of the Most High God. You're now listening to the whole truth program coming to you from the sanctuary of the church in the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostle of Faith Incorporated, where Bishop Josie Tisdale is pastor and general overseer. Now let's bow our heads in prayer and meditations as we are led by Minister Smith. Father, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, once again, we want to thank you. My God, we want to thank you how you blessed all your people to enter into the house of prayer once again, that we may continue to worship you and call upon you, mighty name. Lord God, giving you the praise and the glory forever. Lord God, we pray, my God, as this broadcast go over the ways of the air, my God, that you draw men from sin unto thy marvelous light. My God, pull them from the power of Satan into the power of Christ. My God, we pray, my God, that you pick hearts and minds as your word go, go forth. Lord God, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that men and women repent of their many sins, that they be buried in water in the precious name of Jesus Christ for the remission of their sins. My God, that they tarry until they be filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost, speaking with other tongues, that the Spirit of God do give them unto you. Lord God, help them to continue steadfastly in their apostles' doctrine, breaking up bread and in prayer. Lord God, we pray, my God, that you bless the man of God. Bishop Josie Tisdale, we pray, my God, that you help them to speak the word of God with boldness. My God, word his mouth with the words of life, my God, that men and women so desperately need all over the world. My God, bless all the sick, the shed in, homebound and bed rid, the destitute. Burn it down in trouble, my God. Let them know that thou art the almighty God, that thou art able to deliver. These and all blessings we ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray for the glory of God. Amen. Again, you're listening to the whole Truth of Program. If you have any questions or comments concerning the Bible, you may mail your correspondence to the church in the Lord Jesus Christ, of the Apostle of Faith Incorporated, Bishop Joe C. Tisdale, Post Office Box 2017, Pottsville, South Carolina, 29551. You can also call our toll-free number at 1-877-332-5661. You can also visit our website for additional church information, such as beliefs, and calendar events, as well as audio sermons preached by Bishop Tisdale. Our official website address is www.thechurchin.org. Special announcement. But if it is the Lord's will, our great semi-annual convention of the church in the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostle of Faith Incorporated will convene here at the headquarters church in Hartsville, South Carolina, beginning on Friday morning, May 24th, through Sunday night, June 2nd, 2013. Our service will begin each morning at 10 a.m. and again each night at 7 p.m., except on Sundays when our service will begin at 11 a.m. and will continue throughout that day. Now, at this time, the choir will render a selection entitled I have a right to be ready when he comes.
And now it is indeed an honor to present unto you the man of God, our pastor and general overseer, Bishop Joe C. Tisdale. We do give honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We do greet everybody. As always, we greet you with much love, joy, and peace. It be multiplied right unto everybody in the one and only name of God. That is in the name of Jesus Christ. I hear the word says in these last days what's going to happen his name is going one lord and his name is going to be one i'm satisfied that god name which you know he's the beginning and the ending and the ending is jesus christ Man. According to Colossians 1, we see where the Lord God, everything was made by him and for him. So when you say Jesus Christ, you have called God's name. You have to remember that Jesus Christ said, I'm come in my Father's name. Oh, yeah. Right. You have to know when you have Jesus Christ, you have the Father also. Jesus Christ told his apostles and those that when you have seen him, mm -hmm. you have seen the Father. So I don't have a problem believing that Jesus Christ is God. I don't have a problem believing that that is the name of God, yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. We thank God for it. We thank God always for the word of God. Thank God for all of you listeners out there and all of you viewers that have corresponded with us, we thank God for you, and we hope that you will continue to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Amen. I want everybody to realize that this is not according to men's will or his wisdom. That's right. Men's wisdom is different from God's wisdom. Certainly. God's wisdom teaches us of him, his knowledge. Yes. We have a knowledge of the Lord. Yeah. And it comes through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And we don't have no doubts now that everything belongs to Jesus Christ. Yeah. Not some of it, but all of it. Yeah. All power, he said, belong to him. Amen. So I'm satisfied when I say Jesus Christ, I have everything in God. Amen. When I call on his name, I'm calling in God. Whosoever calleth upon the name of the Lord, you shall be saved. Amen. What is his name? Jesus Christ. That's his Don't name. be foolish about the worldly things. All it is is something to get your mind off of God and let you see only the world. That's right. But I want to let you know, doesn't matter what you enjoy in this world, it's going to be burned up. I may as well warn you, it's going to be burned up, so yeah. don't need loving it. That's right. So much that you can't obey the word of God. Amen. Don't love anything in the world where more than God. That's the truth. Love God above all of it. All of it. Don't let her drink a liquor, a cigarette, or some cocaine, or marijuana, whatever you take to make you high. Don't let this cause you to separate from God. That's the truth. Don't let, amen, things make you please people of the world. You have to please God. Amen. Everything belongs to him. Amen. You may as well please him because if we don't, you're not going to make it so well. So true. With God. 
Amen. You won't be with him. All right, read it. Let's see what it says here. Colossians 1 and 13. All right. Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness. Yes. And hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Thank God for this. Amen. Look how he has translated us. Amen. We that's following God, now you know those that are truly following the Lord, you didn't have a mind like this. Oh, God, no. give us that mind. Thank God. Thank God for the mind Amen. to follow Jesus Christ. Amen. Give me a mind to follow the word. That's right. You can't follow it without a mind. You can't do nothing without the mind. Amen. Your mind have to tell you, amen, what to do. That's right. And your mind is on something all the time, so you better put it on Jesus Christ. Sure. Sure. Is that right? That's right. Whatever your mind is on, amen, it's got to be on something. I asked my wife sometime when I look at it, I said, what's on your mind? She said, nothing. I said, oh, no, it's something on that mind. You're thinking about something. <laughs> You can't let that mind go where it want to go. Oh, you, no. you, you be insane here. Amen. What you had to do, ask God to help you to control it. Yeah. Because it's thinking about something all the time. Surely. Yes, Even is. foolishness in dreams. That's right. That's it's right. It's still trying to work. Yeah. <laughs> all right, the word says. In whom we have redemption through his blood. In whom we have redemption through his blood. Even the forgiveness of sin. You hear this? Even the forgiveness of sin. Who was the image of the invisible God. Now, I thank God for this. Jesus Christ is the image of the invisible God. Amen. We couldn't get to God. No. Couldn't see him. Amen. But here, Jesus Christ, God has given us an image. Yes, he has. Amen. Amen. And that image is God. Yes, it is. How wonderful that is. Thank God. Is that right? Surely. God blessed us, and the light shine to our, our hearts, yeah, the Bible says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ will come to your heart through belief. Yes, he will. And you will see that he is God. Amen. Amen, because it's in the face of Jesus Christ. That's right. That's where it Thank is. Thank God for it. Is that right, Rita? Amen. What it say? 2 Corinthians 4 and 2. All right. But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. Yes. Not walking in craftiness. Now we don't want to walk in craftiness. Nor handling the word of God deceitfully. Nor handling the word of God deceitfully. But by manifestation of the truth. But by manifestation of, of the truth. Commending ourselves to every man's conscience. Commending ourselves to every man's conscience. In the sight of God. In the sight of God. But if our gospel be hid. If this gospel I'm talking about today about Jesus Christ, if you can't see it. Yeah. Evidently, it's something wrong with your mind. It is hidden. Is that right? Amen. Your mind is messed up. That's right. What did it say? Read it. It is hid to them that are lost. It is hid to them that are lost. In whom the God of this world. In whom the God of this world. Hath blinded the minds. You, you see what the devil has done? Yeah. Blind the mind of people where they won't believe That's in right. God. You can't see anything if you are blind. How can you see and you are blind? Cannot. So the enemy has blind people in unbelief That's right. through their eyes. Amen. Their eyes see, but they can't perceive. That's right. Air here, but they don't get it. Amen. Heart, they don't understand That's it. That's right. That's right. Amen. Let's at any time. Yes. Jesus said, Amen. They open their eyes. God, the Lord said, I will convert them. He said, I'll heal them. Oh, yes. If you can, you can see it, That's your right. mind have to see this. Isn't That's that right? right? Amen. It has to be instilled in your mind. Amen. Whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. Blind the minds of them which believe not. Do you see the problem here? That's right. You say, I don't want that. I don't want to have any part to do with it. But guess what? You can't see it. That's because right. if you see the light, God knows you're going to walk in oh, the yeah. light. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. If I'm out in the dark, if a light come on, well, I want to go where that light is 